Hi, I'm Andrew Harvey. I'm here at RubyConf uh, chatting with Matt. Um, Hi. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for taking out a little bit of time to, to chat with us. Yeah, sure. Now, your keynote this morning. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, kind of impressive. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Um, I think you, you hit on something that uh, is really interesting about, about Ruby, um, and, and that is the humans yeah. involved in Ruby. Yeah. Um, how do you, I suppose, back early on, you, you, uh, you say you design Ruby for, for developer happiness. Yeah. yeah. And um, what do you see that brought in terms of the community for Ruby? You know, the in very early stage of Ruby, so it, it has no influence, but, you know, it is my test project. So... <laughs> So I started developing in Ruby as a hobby. I have been a language geek for a long time. Uh -huh. So I, I just wanted to create my own programming language. Yeah. You know, the, for most, of pro, most programmers, the la programming language are given. So there's Java, PHP. So there's no chance to you know, change the language. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, can, you cannot change Java. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, having your own programming language, you can do everything. You can set your rule. You can create a university, so a, a universe, I mean. So, so that's why I started Ruby mm -hmm. as a hobby, and uh, so there's no, you know, order, no assignment, just just hobby. So I was, I could focus on how I feel when I use my my programming language. Yeah. So, in 20 years ago, it was quite different, you know. So. The, at that time, computer was so slow, so they tend to be focused on performance or the how what they can do. Yeah. But uh, since I was not old, I, it was my hobby, so I can I could focus on how I feel. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, the so many people had had felt the same way to to the language. Yeah. So then they gradually formed the community. They. Uh, some people uh, create some kind of the libraries, gems, frameworks. So, and uh, and you know, Ruby on Rails changed the whole game. Yeah. So, so, you know, it almost took take over the world. <laughs> so, talking about Ruby on Rails, yes. there's a lot of people who have come to Ruby through Rails mm -hmm. and and might have left Ruby, uh, sorry, left Rails, but have stayed with Ruby. Yeah. yeah. Um, how, how do you think that Rails has affected uh, the, the way the Ruby community is, even when they're building software which isn't Rails? Mm -hmm. You know, the the Rails has pretty imp had a pretty big impact to the, mm. to the world, just because you know the we the you know under the web web app, web page we ha we have to create a tons of web applications, so that they need to be effective, productive. To create web application, the, the the Ruby on Rails can be a answer to that kind of the, uh, you know the problem, you know the so the y you can use the Ruby on Rails to be effective in uh, creating web applications. But you know the Ruby on Rails is a framework, so you you have to use Ruby on top of Ruby on Rails. Yeah. So that that picture is kind of good introduction to the language, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the Ruby on Rails is, uh, in a sense, Ruby on Rails is uh, only one application of the language. Yeah. So we, the Ruby language it has the broader range of uh, possibility. So you can use it uh, sysadmin and. Uh, like uh, API, uh, defining API or some kind of scripting, and, uh, even the, the scientific research calculation or something like that. So we we can do tons of things outside web in yeah. Ruby. So the the people who knew Ruby through Rails, so can many of them can find a new way to apply Ruby in their problem. One of the things that, that people have, have noted in terms of the community, the non-Rails community of mm -hmm. Ruby, uh, is that Ruby hasn't uh, been able to attract uh, s the scientific community um, 
mm -hmm. and sometimes the academic community mm -hmm. all, all that much. Is that, uh, is that a focus um, that you would like to have on, on bringing? You know, the, the recent years I'm working on the go put Ruby outside the web. So mm -hmm. the last year, I, I, the, my, our uh, organization named the Ruby Association had a grant on Sci Ruby the scientific Ruby, mm -hmm. so so that we can help the uh, Ruby in the scientific computing. So and uh, all these and uh, these years, I also work on MRuby, which is embeddable Ruby. Mm -hmm. So the, you can embed Ruby in other application or the very small devices. So the these are outside web. Yeah. So we try to uh, improve the situation. So you know that. You know, open source may or may not succeed, but you know we are at least trying to reach out of that web. So, looking back now, so this is the the twentieth year, or this, well, we're entering the twenty first year now mm -hmm. of, of Ruby's existence. Yeah, yeah. And looking back over over the years and over the community that's built mm -hmm. around Ruby, um, do you find yourself proud looking over over what's built around? Yeah. What, what was a hobby? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the considering it started as a hobby, it has a quite big impact to the world. You mm -hmm. know, that we have a lot of people uh, understand the, how to create web applications through Rails and Ruby, and then they have many people who understand object-oriented programming through Ruby, and then they, uh, there are several programming languages influenced by Ruby. That's, that's quite amazing. Yeah. And, and just finally, uh, l reflecting on RubyConf itself, mm -hmm. um, are, are there any talks, I suppose, have, have there been any, any talks that really excited you and are there any still coming that are, uh, you're really keen to get to? Well, the, in, in the past RubyConf conferences, you know, the, we have, I have surprised, I had surprised by the, how they use Ruby in their various fields, like, uh, you know, the few years ago, there's a uh, people, uh, there's a person who embed Ruby in their some kind of the, the radio control out, no, the submarine to to search search the ocean, uh, search under the ocean or something like that. So, and uh, that that kind of application is kind of interesting. And uh, you know the. Ruby Gems itself and Rake, uh, they started in the Ruby conference. Mm -hmm. is, you know, Ruby the the very first version prototype of Ruby Gems is the, uh, designed in the hackathon in the first Ruby conf. Wow. Yeah. The, so the, the Ruby conf has the, the past Ruby conf has huge impact on the Ruby community. Excellent. Very cool. Well, we'll let you go. Thank you so much for your yeah, time. Yeah, thank you. And uh, have a great conference. Yeah, this is a great conference. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thank you.